Hey guys, <clears throat> this is going to be a mid-month reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a love and guidance reading to see where you guys are at currently going into the new year, okay? Of course, this is a general reading, so it won't resonate for everyone. I wish that it could, but it's not. Um, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, please check me out on pinkarianjim.com. If you're having an issue when you go there, you are more than welcome to email me. I do not have a problem with that, okay? If you like the video, please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel, all right? And Merry Christmas, guys. Let's see what we got for air. Ladies. One more shuffle. Hmm. Overall energy. Ooh. The star. Some of you have just connected with the love of your life. You have connected with the person that is meant to be your partner for life. This is the one you're gonna ride it out with for a lot of you. Hmm. Lots of communication going on. You're the eight of wands right now with the sun challenging you. Hmm. In the past, Four of Pentacles in your foundation. We have a full crowning you. We have a Ten of Wands. <clears throat> your near future, we have the Ace of Pentacles. How you see yourself as a Nine of Pentacles. And the environment is a Queen of Cups. And your hopes and fears is a King of Pentacles. And the possible outcome, what I tell you? Possible outcome? Four of Wands. Marriage. Very strong commitment. <clears throat> a lot of times I'll say marriage, but, you know, it does not have to be a conventional marriage where you go before a priest. If you, if you are with somebody from now until the day you guys leave this earth and you're together for 20 years, that's your husband or your wife, okay? Regardless if somebody has signed off on a piece of paper, okay? So just want to be clear about that. Okay, so we're going to jump right into this. And I love this ish right here. All right? So here you are with the Eight of Wands. Lots of communication with somebody. Lots of loving communication with somebody, all right? Love arrows, passionate communication, possible online communication, possible traveling to see the one that you love here with the Eight of Wands. Your challenge, huh, is to accept this happiness, to realize that this is true, this is real, this is solid, Th excuse me, this is for you, okay? In the past, you were very closed off. You were very closed off. You probably had decided, you know what? I'm just gonna be by myself because apparently nobody's out there for me. Um, nobody's out there that's gonna treat me the way that I wanna be treated. So yeah, that's how you were in the past. But guess what? In your foundation now, you're willing to take a leap of faith. This is you all day long, Aries. You're willing to step out on faith. You're willing to try something new. You're looking back at that four of pentacles and saying, deuces, all right? Because you've encountered somebody that floats your boat, that sparks your fire. Okay? You are laying down the burden of whatever has been holding you back from truly allowing yourself to connect with somebody. In your future, we have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is somebody either offering something to you or you offering to them, but this is a new start. This is also a tangible offer. This is also 
a ring being offered. This is offering to go out on a date. This is offering to go out, you know, go on a trip, on a vacation. Just this is something very tangible and solid and it's real. I feel like for a lot of you, this is an engagement ring. For a lot of you, this is moving in. Okay. Even if you're not getting married, this is moving in because somebody here, somebody here is traveling to get this tangible offer of moving in to propose. Okay. How you see yourself is you're confident and you're happy. Um, you're single currently because nobody has put a ring on it just yet. But you know what? You're open to it. Look at look at the hand right. Look at her hand right there. <laughs> like what? You know, I'm here. In the environment, we have the Queen of Cups here. Very loving, very intuitive energy. Very giving, very nurturing. And I get strongly that this is how somebody sees you. This is how somebody sees you as a queen of cups. Beautiful. And your hopes and fears, you know, I see this in two different ways, depending on your stories. Either you, you guys, some of you are fearful that somebody's going to come in this King of Pentacles that you possibly were involved with before, or either this is a father figure that's going to mess this up for you. Or for some of you, you're just hoping that the person that you're thinking about truly is the King of Pentacles and not putting on a facade. Or this is for some of you how you want to be. Your possible outcome, Four of Wands. Joining with somebody, feeling very stable within yourself, seeing that stability in somebody else and moving forward on this solid foundation, celebrating each other forever. All right? So Aries, that's what I have for you for December 15th through the 31st. And um, Merry Christmas, you guys. Happy New Year. I love this. Um, and congratulations for those of you who, who are getting engaged. Um, who have found the love of your life. Congratulations. Love you. Bye now.